Welcome to another video of Health Facts with Dr. Danish. Today we are going to talk about N-acetylcysteine, otherwise known as NAC, and its role in COVID-19 infection. Uh, but before we go there, we're going to talk about uh, N-acetylcysteine itself. Uh, N-acetylcysteine consists of cysteine. Cysteine is an uh, amino acid in our body, and uh, we have two forms of amino acid in our body essential ones and non-essential ones. So essential amino acid is amino acid that we, our body uh, do not make it. So we need to supplement, uh, supplement those kind of amino acids. Uh, and non-essential ones are the, are the ones that our body uh, is able to make it. Uh, so cysteine is partially essential. That means our body could actually create or build uh, cysteine from uh, other amino acids. Uh, the most important role of cysteine in our body is that it's a precursor uh, to make the most potent antioxidant in our body, which is glutathione. So it's very important for us to supplement with uh, N-acetylcysteine or NAC. Another great benefit of uh, a NAC is uh, to help with the immune system. It's actually improving immune system. Uh, the other one is uh, to repair the oxidative uh, stress and cell damages in our body. It may improve the fertility in both gender, male and female. It is stabilizing the blood glucose or plasma glucose level uh, by decreasing the inflammation in our uh, fatty tissue. And it's also preventing from cardiovascular disease by helping with oxidative stress. Uh, that is actually decreasing the oxidative stress. By regulating glutamate and replenishing glutathione, it is boosting our brain health, meaning that it's increasing our learning ability uh, and it's improving our memory and it's decreasing our brain aging. It contributes to longevity and it's actually a great detoxification for environmental toxins which by the way we all have some sort of environmental toxin in our bloodstream. It also actually helps with uh, some psychiatric diseases such as uh, bipolar disease, uh, schizophrenia and OCD which is obsessive compulsive disorder and it's actually helping with uh, addictive behaviors as well. In this next study, which is a randomized placebo-controlled trial, you'll see how effective NAC would be in the number and the severity of symptoms in patients with flu. This is a study published in PubMed, which is again a highly respected database, and they studied the attenuation of influenza-like symptomatology and improvement of cell-mediated immunity with long-term N-acetylcysteine treatment. As you can see, N-acetylcysteine has been in clinical use for more than 30 years as a mucolytic drug. It has also been proposed for and or used in the therapy and prevention of several respiratory disease and of diseases involving an oxidative stress in general. A total of 262 subjects of both sexes were enrolled in this study. They were randomized to receive either placebo or NAC tablets, 600 mg twice daily for six months, which is quite a long time. Patients suffering from chronic respiratory disease were not eligible to avoid possible confounding by an effect of NAC on respiratory symptoms. They concluded that NAC treatment was well tolerated and resulted in a significant decrease in the frequency of influenza-like episodes, severity, and length of time confined to bed. Both local and systemic symptoms were sharply and significantly reduced in the NAC group. Another interesting fact is that only 25% of virus-infected subjects under NAC treatment develop a symptomatic form versus 79% in placebo group. In other words, 79% of patients in placebo group uh, develop some sort of symptoms, flu-like symptoms. 
as opposed to just 25% of virus infected people in NAC group. Now we know that cysteine is an amino acid, the building blocks of uh, proteins. We need to know how we could find cysteine. Well, cysteine could be found in high protein foods such as chicken, turkey, eggs, cheese, and yogurt. And for people who are uh, vegan, it could be found in legumes and sunflower seeds and some other seeds. But our body needs to have adequate amount of folate and vitamin B6 and vitamin B12, which, by the way, uh, could be found in legumes such as uh, lentil and beans, and in a spinach and in a banana and salmon, uh, to be able to create and build up more cysteine. So my recommendation to my patient is to take 600 milligram two to three times of NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine, along with other supplementation that we discussed in our previous videos or we will be discussing in our next videos in this pandemic situation that we are dealing with. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in our next presentation. Thanks and have a great day.